Jason Bowe of University of Queensland. Rosemary, I just wonder if you could tell me a bit about yourself and your role at the university. Yes, Andrew. I work at the Queensland Alliance for Agriculture and Food Innovation at the University of Queensland. And our unit is known as the Centre of Food and Nutritional Sciences. And I work there as Senior Research Fellow. Okay. And can you tell me a bit about yourself and your background within the seafood industry? Okay. So, I'm a lover of seafood because I've studied in seafood and my PhD has been on seafood proteins and we looked at uh, denaturation during frozen storage and looked at um, actually protecting the functional properties and we used chemicals known as cryoprotectants such as sugars and sorbitols to improve the storage life of fish proteins. So Excellent. from there I'm in love with seafood. Excellent. And Yasmina, could you tell me um, why seafood is such an important component of the, uh, of the modern diet? Yes, I think seafood is a very important component of the modern diet because we have diseases, what we call diseases of affluence, like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, obesity, and seafood is a low fat product and it also is a high quality protein. And when you say fat, the fat in seafood is very important because it is loaded with omega-3 fatty acids and as you know it is very important. It is now scientifically proven all over the world that uh, fish oils actually lower cholesterol and this is very important in fighting things like heart disease. And another well-known fact about seafood is that it, is, it also has iron and zinc and copper minerals that are very important, like iron is very important for your, uh, you know, uh, preventing from anemia and things like zinc and copper for your immune system. So seafood is really, really important as a modern dietary component and uh, people should eat a lot of it. Excellent, very good. Now Yasmina, could you tell me a little about some of the uh, more significant work you've been doing in the last year or so? So, um, because seafood is very highly perishable and there is a need by the consumer, as I told you before, because of these modern diseases, we are encouraging consumers to eat a lot of fresh food. And the challenge of seafood is that it is very perishable and we need to extend the shelf life and supermarkets are asking for a 14-day shelf life. But they don't want chemical preservatives in it. So our research has focused heavily in the past two to three years on looking at natural antimicrobials that can actually extend the shelf life of seafood. And we've had very good success stories and I'm really happy to say that the seafood industry has supported us in funding these research projects. The latest one would be where we extended the shelf life of uh, cooked chilled prawns in excess of 14 days and we are in the process of using some of these natural plant extracts as a uh, model for commercialization and we also have used what is known as glazing treatments where you can enhance the color of frozen uh, chilled cooked uh, frozen prawns and this has been done successfully in the laboratory and now they are into larger scale farm trials and if uh, this can be commercialized actually the seafood industry will be able to sell their product at a higher price over a longer frozen storage period and would be very attractive for the retail sector like poles and bullets. And yes, I mean, just finally, what are some of the positive outcomes for the community that are not so widely appreciated with the kind of work that you do? So I would say that one thing, one thing that you must realize is seafood also gives this fishy odor and some of our research work has managed to uh, prevent the fishy odor because there's a segment of society that would not consume seafood because of this fishy smell. So when we use these natural antimicrobials from plant extracts, we can actually in, uh, min minimize the fishy odor and enhance other flavors and you target a certain population of the consumers with that. And the other uh, challenge for the food industry is that you get a lot of aged care homes. And if you can remove chemical preservatives like they use in certain sectors of the food industry and the seafood industry, then you can target these aged care homes and such products would be very attractive for the wider community. Excellent. Dr. Yasmina Salvador, thank you very much for your time today. You're welcome.